welcome back to my channel um today i will be doing well talking about weeks 30 through 35 i think um i think i left off like on week 29 on my last bump date i think i'm not sure but i think so but i am 36 weeks today which is uh friday the 4th january 4th um I'm 36 weeks today, and next week is my induction date. So I literally have a week left of this pregnancy. Um, I'm very excited. I'm a little nervous. I'm kind of sad, too, because, to be honest, I don't know how... I, I just don't know what to expect. Um, I've never been induced before, so I'm a little nervous about that. Um... But I'm ready. I am very excited. All our bags are packed. Um, we got our blankets. We got our pillows. And I'm excited and I'm ready. So, yeah. Um, I will talk about the prior weeks, 30 to like 34. And then 35 is the big week that a lot of stuff happened. Um, so, week 30 to like 34, nothing major. Um... I mean, I guess I can. You can just say I doubled in size, but that's about it. Um, let's see. I've been eating more, craving a lot more junk food, thirsty more, and my heartburn's been consistent through this whole pregnancy. Heartburn is horrible, especially at night. Um, let's see what else. I've it's about it like I nothing has happened from week 30 to 34 nothing has happened it's been a smooth four weeks for that um well really uh where it's, where everything really kind of went a little crazy is just it's week 35 because I went to the emergency well labor and delivery um because I was having pressure in my butt <laughs> I was having pressure and I was having like cramps like uh, menstrual cramps and so I went in there thinking okay this is it this is it we're about to have the babies blah 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 and I was like 35 and I mean four days or five or five days one of those so this just really slowly happened and come to find out y'all they said <laughs> they said I had backed up stool um, and gave me magnesium citrate to drink to release that backed up stool, but I was having contractions. So I'm just like, uh, whatever, <laughs> you know, I drunk that magnesium citrate, nothing happened, no bowel movement, nothing. Um, so at this point, I'm still kind of miserable. But I don't have a week to go. And I made it this far. I made it nine months. So what is one more week? Honestly, I'm ready. Um, my feet have been swelling a little bit. I've noticed that. Um, my face has always been chunky during pregnancy. So that's nothing new. Um, my hands have been a little swollen. Um, I have an appointment today, actually. Two appointments. An uh, NST. And then my regular OB. And so I will bring that up to them because I don't know if it's something that they need to check or if they need to worry about or if it's just normal for like twin pregnancies at the end like this. Um, what else? And uh, my doctor did call the other day and she was like, so I was having a whole dilemma about a C-section versus a breech delivery. Um, baby A is head down and the pelvis ready. She's she'll be the first one to shoot out. Baby B now she's breached and she's. I have no. I, I don't think she's gonna flip before next week, um, or next during next week. So I had two options: a C-section or uh, a breech delivery, and. My doctor called me and was like, well, the other doctor told me you will think about a C-section, blah, 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 because baby B is breached, blah, 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 which is true. 
um, she kind of talked me out of it because she then said she would be the one delivering my baby, um, my babies, and that she's very skilled in breach deliveries. Um, and that only 3%, I think she said 3% of breach deliveries go into a C-section. That reassured me. That made me feel better. She And, you know, she just talked to me about it. And then she was like, well, what if I bring you in Thursday night to start the whole induction process? And I was like, okay. She was like, so I'm going to talk to the nurses, talk to, you know, talk and see what I can do. And I will call, and, you know, I'll call you back sometime this week or next week. To, and let you know if it's going to be Thursday night or Friday morning. But right now it's scheduled for Friday morning, my induction. But she was like, you know, I'm going to try to get you on Thursday night just to start it. So by Friday we can be halfway done with it or be done completely, they be you know, born. Which is cool. I have no problem with that. So I literally have six to seven days left. And Thursday, um, we got, Shella has a speech therapy appointment. We have to take Shala and Dallas to my mom's when she gets off work. We have to probably go run some few errands, go eat for the last time if it's going to be Thursday night. Um, and really, next week's going to fly by. Today's already Friday. Tomorrow's Saturday, then Sunday, then Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday, then boom, baby time. So, I'm very excited. I'm very nervous. Um, I know, like my next appointment today is today. I have two appointments today. My then my last NST is the eighth. That's my last one, and I don't know exactly what day that is. I hope it's not Thursday. <laughs> but so yeah, I'm very excited. I'm ready. Um, I think the wine's ready too. Uh, I'm a little sad because I'm gonna miss being pregnant. This has been a good pregnancy, um, health wise, it's been okay. A few labor and delivery runs, but other than that, it's been pretty good. Um, I'm really surprised that I've actually even made it this far because in the beginning, they kept having stuff my labor and whatever. So I'm very proud of my body and I'm proud of myself. And we'll just see how it goes. And I'll try to have Dewan do a little bit of a video while I'm in labor. Um, I'll definitely be recording while we're driving there, while we're um, on the way. Um, stuff, little clips here and there that will try to make up a little video for you guys so I can post it. But Adrian and Audrey are coming. And I can't wait. And I'm so excited. And uh, I'm going to be a mom of four. Oh, that's so crazy. That's so, so, so crazy. Oh, my gosh. I can't. I'm so excited, guys. Like, I feel like 2019 is going to be great for me and my family. And I'm just really ready for my baby girls to get here so I can hold them and kiss them. Because I honestly cannot even... I don't know what they're going to look like. I have no clue. They're identical, so I have no clue like what to even expect. Like, it's just, I'm so excited. But yes, I just want to pick up the camera and let y'all know that I, uh, I'm literally about to have these baby girls next week in a few days. And I'm blessed. So, I will show you my bump. Let me set this down. I will show you my bump, and then I'll say bye-bye. Okay. Ow, my foot. Okay. So, this is the 36-week bump. You can tell, like, from all the stretching, the stretch marks. Um, let me back up some. So you can see. Sorry for that light coming across. Uh, this room has really bad lighting. But the window is open, but it is raining. So that is the bump, y'all. That is the bump. 
That's crazy, guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness. But yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and me and the girls will see y'all soon. I'll try to I'll try to record Dallas. I mean, said Dallas is the ones. What's in his hospital bag? But the night thing with I was on the labor, he put it in the car, and now he's too lazy to go get it. So I'm gonna have to go get it for him and record it. What's in there? But yep, that is it. I'm so excited. Ah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for subscribing and sharing and liking. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.